for some testing. Time to find out whether they really work or not. If you haven't seen my previous video where I tested both of these on my flow bench, click on the upper right hand corner of your screen and you can watch that video. I'm going to make one run. And it'll be my throwaway run because the first run with all the fluids are cold and it always runs way slower than any of the times I run down the track thereafter. And then I'll make two runs with my stock air filter that I've got in it now. I'll make two more with the black air filter. And then the last two will be the K&N stub stack. Um, that's a lot of runs before competition starts. So I hope I get them all done. <laughs> Here we go. Also, stay to the end where I do a secondary test that shows real promise. Unfortunately, we had a rain delay and I turned my GoPro off and forgot to turn it back on till after I'd made my second run. So you have the second run there, but you don't get to see any video of it. You can't hear it very well with the other truck beside me, but that, but it just absolutely would not run. It was popping and banging and farting. It just run horrible. You know, we did one test on this K&N stub stack because it runs worse on my car than it did on my flow bench. Although this thing was meant for a stock carburetor to straighten the air, and mine obviously isn't a stock carburetor. It absolutely hated it. I jumped into my truck to give you some more opinions of this K&N stub stack and my dislike for it and frustration and anger and just uh, really... Uh, <laughs> giving you my serious emotional thoughts at that moment. But after I started competition and I started racing and I went out third round and I, I started thinking about it a little bit more, I realized that I still hadn't given the K&N stub, stub stack a fair shake. Um, because... I decided that maybe the lid was actually the culprit. Having the lid over there was restricting it off because it set so close. So I decided to put it back on one more time without the hair filter lid and without an air filter and give it one final test, one final grace to see what would happen. So my camera went dead on me unbeknownst to me and I didn't get a video of this last run with the K&N stub stack so I'll let you watch some video in the background while I just describe what it did when I went down the track. Um, it didn't pop, it didn't didn't act up at all, it ran perfectly fine down the track. It ran a 791 at 86.96 miles an hour. 
Now, that's the highest mile per hour I got all day, but, you know, point something in mile per hour, but it is the fastest run that I got, uh, and it ran a 1.78 60-foot time, which was also the quickest 60-foot time of the day. It was cooled down a little bit after the rain, so I can definitely say that maybe that had something to do with it. It ran just fine. I can't say it ran better. I can't say it ran worse. I think it ran just fine, but any, you know, major wow factor. Someday I'll put it on the stock carburetor, a carburetor that still has the choke tower, because I really think that's what this k and stub stack is designed for, is for a stock carburetor, and see if it shows improvement. I mean, after all, it, it didn't hurt my race carburetor. I mean, it didn't hurt it at all once I got rid of the lid, so... Um, that's saying something all by itself. You've seen all the information, you've seen all the runs, so now you can decide for yourself whether it was worth it or not. I like the black air filter. I'm going to use it for the rest of the year. It did make my 60 foot times better and after the end of the year I'll know whether that was a fluke or not. As far as the K&N stub stack, I mean honestly, I mean it went 0 0.06 of an ET quicker. It went 0.19 mile per hour quicker, and it went 0 0.016 60 foot time quicker than any other run of the whole day. If I could run it with an air filter, I would run it. Um, I think it actually works like it's supposed to, although it's nothing really big, but it made an improvement every step of the way down the track. But I am one of those guys that has to have an air filter and uh, I'm not going to run it without an air filter so therefore I'm not going to run the K&N stub stack. I'll race the rest of the day with that black air filter with the filter that's in the lid. Um, seems to be working better. Doesn't give me the mile an hour I thought it was going to. I thought I'd see more mile an hour but I'm seeing better 60 foot times. So I like it. I guess that's what I'm saying. <laughs> So until my next video, bye. Stay. So are you playing or not? Okay. It hates it. And I want to just go throw it in the Beep. weeds and be done with it. Okay. I was a little bit heated, so now I got to come back and and talk a little reality. <laughs>